and still the Chiefs lead this game at the half. No, I agree with you. I mean, for the most part, for probably 25 to 30 minutes, the Titans have totally outplayed the Titans, the uh, Chiefs. But we all know what matters is points on the scoreboard. And give the Chiefs credit. I mean, they've done what they had to do that last drive there. I believe he said 86 yards in just a minute and 47 seconds. I mean, you talk about using your time you know, as well as possible. Uh, it be very interesting to see what happens in the second half here. You mentioned the Chiefs will get the ball, and if there's a way they can come down and score a touchdown, I mean, we may be seeing a replica last week. It could be something where, like last week, not as much, they were behind early, and they could end up running away from this game. So, uh, I'm interested to see this first Chiefs drive. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what Kansas City is talking about right now. four possessions and three scoring drives. You look at the Tennessee Titans have the ball ball for four possessions and they had three scoring drives as well. And it's up for one field goal on one of those scoring drives. The Chiefs punch it into the end zone on all three of their scoring drives. You know what the mindset is for Tennessee coming into the game. Now it's a question for the adjustment that you're going to see from Mike Vrabel and that type of coaching staff, right? DPs, Arthur Smith, their offensive coordinator. What you're going to see from them half number two. Offensively, Henry at 62 yards on the ground. Tannehill threw the ball a little bit better in the first half. Threw for 120 yards. Brown was making plays. The play action was wide open. You know, they were moving the ball easily when Chris Jones was not on the field for the Kansas City Chiefs. If they ship a ball, fall behind 28-17, and the Chiefs have a scoring drive on that first possession of the second half, then they're going to make Tennessee very uncomfortable. You know, it will, because then they may have to abandon what has been their reason for success is their running game with Derrick Henry. They will have to throw the ball for it. Now, Tannehill's made some nice throws, but uh, certainly he hasn't been counted on to really be the bell cow, to be the one, you know, pulling this card here. It's been their running game, but... Uh, Kansas City doesn't have much of a running game. They're going to do most of their damage through the air. It seems like their quarterback has been their biggest running threat. So you talked about adjustments at halftime. You know, Von Mike Gravel, again, this is a guy who's been on Super Bowl winning teams. He's seen it all. Very, very interested to see if he does anything blitz-wise or something to not let Mahomes be Mahomes because if he has time with his skill and his arm, they'll find a way to beat you and you see him go. Yeah, and for Andy Reid, he can bring a huge sigh of relief because of what number 15 can do for him on the football field. I mean, how just how special is Patrick Mahomes? Now, it's only one half of football. Didn't have the football a lot. Every time he did, he felt like he touched. He was down in this football game, and he has been until that late scoring drive in which, embarrassingly enough, the Tennessee Titans forgot how to tackle but he runs in from about 30 plus yards out for the go-ahead score at the time at the half to give the Chiefs in the lead. How special is Patrick Mahomes? Well, I, I don't know. We've all heard the superlatives. I mean, I don't know how much more this young man can do, and I emphasize the word young. As good as he is, he still has so much more time to grow and will get better. You'll say to yourself, get better. How much better can he get? He's amazing, but uh, he's still a young man, and he will continue to grow. And, you know, I think uh, Brett Favre, one of the all-time great quarterbacks for the team of mine, even he said that after his rookie year, if this young man stays healthy, he may put up numbers and accomplish things that have never been done in the history of the NFL. So, uh, great job by the Chiefs to come back, and uh, let's see if the Titans can find a way to get back to what they were doing the first quarter and a half when they were so dominant. All right, Belusis and Landana, we're at halftime of the AFC Championship game. Welcome to a, a Championship Sunday edition of Chalk Talk as uh, the Chiefs lead the Titans 21-17 at the half. Want to remind everybody, a couple weeks from today is going to be Super Bowl Sunday. There's going to be a great gala upstairs in the convention room. You have to hop online, Resorts World website, get your tickets. They're absolutely free. You just have to get them in advance. It costs you nothing. Landana and myself will be there. There'll be great food, drink, any kind of, I mean, they have so many TVs up there, Sean, to watch the Super Bowl. It's utterly ridiculous. I think this will be the third or fourth year that we'll be doing it for Mike and the guys here at Resorts World NYC. It is a great event, and if you have never joined here and come out to Resorts World NYC for a Super Bowl, make sure you do it this year. You have to hop online and get your tickets. you got to get them in advance, and they can do, go do that right now. It costs you nothing. Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 the most important part and the best part there is the tickets are free. All you have to do is go online and sign up, as Mark mentioned. Six or seven huge screens, kind of close to the size of this upstairs in the major ballroom. We have a tremendous crowd, 
food and drink available the whole game. It's a great atmosphere to watch the Super Bowl. And as you said, this will be, I think, our fourth year in a row doing it. And uh, so glad I'm going to be here. We hope all of you will join us two weeks from today. All right, it is a holiday weekend, Sean, and we did watch the first half here. Before we get let Dennis Keys to the second half from a Titan and Chief perspective, is the kickoff is about five minutes away. The Chiefs will get the ball to start the second half. One thing that bothers me about what we watched in the first half, how about the lack of tackling? I mean, listen, Mahomes has got to make the play late to cut the ball upfield, but the Titans' lack of tackling there, bad penalties by the Chiefs in the first half. I'd like to see a cleaner second half and the art of tackling needs to be practiced more in the NFL. No, I agree with you. I mean, all of us here have been watching football for years, and, you know, it just seems like in the last several years, guys are looking for that big hit. They're looking to hit a guy to knock him down, or uh, they're trying to strip the ball instead of tackling him. And, you know, we saw it on that last Mahomes run. I mean, three guys, not one or two, three defenders had chances to tackle him, and they didn't do it, and especially at the end of the play. So I'm sure that'll be addressed a little bit. And obviously, if they can wrap up, it makes a huge difference because the extra yards that are gained after the ball's caught or after initial contact is huge if you can't make the, make the tackle at the initial point of contact. All right, uh, Sean, let's get your keys to the second half here. Uh, let's start it with the team that's trailing. They're down 21-17. What do you want to see from the Titans here in the second half? Well, I want to see if they can get back to what they did the first quarter of the half. I mean, ran the ball well. They closed their break pass plays. You saw some of their pass plays where there was no within five or ten yards of their receiver because the play called against that specific defense was perfect. Let's see if they can get back to that. Give Kansas City credit. They changed up. Because in the last five, seven minutes of this half, you know, they changed the uh, narrative of the game drastically. Uh, Tennessee has to get back to what they do best run the football and throw those other passes in there and dominate and control like they did the first two weeks of the playoffs when they beat New England and Baltimore. And the other thing they have to do, they have to get a stop here to start the second half. I mean, it'd be one thing to give up a field goal and you're down a touchdown 24-17, they can overcome that. I feel a little bit leery about how this game plays out if Mahomes marches the Chiefs down the field to make it a 28-17 game, putting all the pressure on the shoulders of Ryan Tannehill and taking the Titans and Arthur Smith out of what exactly they want to do offensively. No, I agree with you. And if that happens, it'll be interesting to see what Tennessee does because there will still be plenty of time. The perception is, oh, we're down by 10 or more points, so we have to throw and catch up. You don't have to do that. You can run the ball. There's still time to stay with your strength, but quite often offensive coordinators get away from that. So I agree. Big, big first series here for the Titans. If somehow they can get a three and out, they get the ball back and come back and score, maybe we may see a tight game until the end. All right, Sean, what about from a chief perspective here? Continue what you're doing offensively. Exactly. I mean, you want to see that. Mahomes has been unbelievable throwing the football. What do you want to see from Casey, who's got the four point lead at the half? Well, I want to see if they can continue to hold their great runner, Derrick Henry, the way they did at the end of the second quarter, because they're still going to want to run the ball. Henry is their strength, and they're going to want to do that. And early on, Kansas City had no answer for it. But late in the second quarter, they were able to stymie it somewhat and allow themselves to get back in the game. So let's see if they can find a way to make the running game of Tennessee not so easy for them and make them have to throw the ball to be Um, What do you feel? We both like Kansas City lay in the seven to begin the game. I'm feeling pretty good about what, what, what our thoughts were before the, head, before the first half. Well, I think you have to where we sit right now. Again, when, when another team for 80% of the half dominated you and you're still winning the game, you know, the thought is what's going to happen if we play a little bit more like that the rest of the game? Uh, I still think it could be a very good game. Can Tennessee still win? Absolutely they can still win. But I feel pretty good about Kansas City now that they've got their game going to uh, to win this game. All right, I'm with you. Uh, Sean and myself, we're going to be hanging out throughout the course of the second half right here in the Rotunda Bar 360. Stop by, by, say hello up top, down low. We thank everyone for coming out and watching a little AFC Championship game football. We'll be right on after the game, give you a little quick preview of the NFC Championship game as well. Second half is straight ahead. Chiefs leading the, uh, the Titans. 21-17 at the half. The AFC title game, second half, straight ahead. Excellent.